Hi everyone, so today we're here with uh, Sarah and Acorn and they're going to be telling us more about the guide dog charity. Um, so how, how did you get your guide dog? Like, Could you explain the process of how you go about getting one? Well, for me, I didn't actually want a guide dog. Um, it was more a vanity thing, but um, all my life I've had problems with sight and it was almost like a secret, a hidden secret. And as I got older, it got worse. Um, my daughter, who's 15, my eldest daughter, when she was about maybe five or six, I nearly walked her out in front of a car. So then I realised, you know, it was getting beyond a joke. Also, I was terrible for burning and falling over. So they called them, the visual impairment team came out um, through the occupational therapist. They followed me about. They came over to Glasgow. Um, I'm epileptic, so I was going to Southern General and they had a terrible fright when they followed me and realised that I was basically playing adult chicken. I couldn't find the traffic lights. I didn't realise there was traffic lights. So they therefore contacted guide dogs. Guide dogs came out and they decide whether you are meant to have a dog or not. Well, they brought um, Acorn out and I had to train solidly for a month with her. Um, if you don't pass the month's training, then you fail, you don't get the dog and you have to go through the whole process again. We, we by the skin of our teeth with Acorn, we passed. She was half a, a year early, they're meant to be two, before they came out. But because of the different eye conditions and the neurological problems I have, I'm maybe not as reliant on her as someone who would be. Um, people don't understand that there's only maybe 2% of people that have serious, serious sight loss. Um, you know, people think that you have to be blind to have a guide dog, but if you're like, completely blind, you're not out yourself. So that's pretty much the process. Do guide dogs work with you for the rest of their lives or do they retire like police dogs? She'll retire probably about eight or nine unless she has a health issue. Um, but per dog, it is £50,000 in a lifetime that a guide dogs spend on them. Um, health issue wise, they even have eye doctors for guide dogs to get their sight checked. If she was to have a sore foot, she gets sent to a specialist. Um, if, say, something happened to me, a family member or a close friend could adopt her. Um, when she retires, I have the choice of keeping her or she could get fostered out and given to a close member of family or see the likes of dogs that don't um, like have to be taken out of service. There's a list that guide dogs have um, and people like are on this list and they'll pay money to take them off of guide dogs. Um, how do guide dogs differ in their behaviour from like other dogs? Like you said that Acorn had quite a personality. How does um, what, what does she do that's different from other dogs? When she's got her harness on, the majority of the time she knows she's working, so she'll go in a huff for a start. If it's raining or it's cold, she doesn't want to work, so it's like constantly being with a toddler. She Once she goes a route once, that's how she remembers it. Um, she'll find the doors for you, she'll find the seats for you. Um, it's things like that. But she also has her moments where she causes great embarrassment. There was like a, a time that I'd gone into the eye specialist and she ate his sandwich out his drawer <laughs> as we were sitting to talk. With guide dogs, uh, twice a week, you have to let them have a free run. That's our treat where they get to run about daft. Um, one day I was out with her and I'd let her off the lead to run about daft and she crashed a funeral. And it was all the mourners out in the churchyard. So there's Acorn bouncing about, jumping all over people, the coffin's coming out. I'm standing with a squeaky toy and a whistle trying to get her back. She would not come back for loving her money. So um, personality-wise, like a normal dog, she has that. But it's just trying to curtail her and get her to realise that work is one thing and being an idiot is another thing. Um, so apart from going out and obviously going on your walks and helping you around the town, what kind of tasks does she help you with? Well, she, as I said, she finds the doors, she finds the traffic lights, she finds the curbs. Um, she'll, if I, as I said, have a fit, she'll lie into me and keep me warm. Um, pretty much things like that. Anything that I struggle with, which is tripping over things, I've got no depth perception. 
the, my biggest hatred is bins and cars on pavements. Um, if she gauges that the two of us can't fit side by side, I have to guide her onto the road and then guide up. Now, if you imagine bin day, all the bins are out, so you're on right up. But if you don't keep to that training, she gets lazy. Mm. But she also tries to push her luck sometimes, and she will try and squeeze us past things. Um, the biggest thing she does for me, which is great, is she finds steps. Um, steps I would miss, I would just go up them, you know, fall up them or fall down them, and that is the biggest thing, and curves. So yeah, she does it well.